But it goes on. And it's not just about the Jews. Look at verse 3. Verse 3. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth. All peoples. Maybe your translation says all nations. It could say all people groups. It could say all cultures. It could say all languages. But you see, it's not only about the Jews. It's about all the nations of the world. What does it say? All peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Now, what does it mean? What, do, what does that mean to be blessed? What do you think it means? Anybody have an idea? It's that all of them, all of the peoples, all of the language groups, all of the cultures, all of the nations are going to be blessed. What, is, what do you think? What does that mean? They're going to be blessed. What does that mean? God's favor. God's favor? God's favor? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. The lives would be impacted. The lives would be impacted. Yeah. Okay. I, I think all of these things are true, what you say. And, and I think we could put it in this. They're going to be saved. The different, there are going to be people from all nations who are going to be saved through Jesus Christ. If you have any question about that, look, we won't do it right now, but read Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3, Paul quotes from this passage in Genesis chapter 12 and applies it to all the nations. See, what is God doing? You know what God is doing? He's spreading the good news of Jesus Christ to all peoples, to all nations, to all language groups. Why have you come here? Why are you doing what you're doing? Because you want to be part of the fulfillment that God promised Abraham back in Genesis uh, chapter 12, verse 3. Now, let me just give you some examples of what we have seen in Operation Mobilization over these years. It, it's thrilling to me to look back on 1956 when I first met George and just to see, you know, we've made so many mistakes, huh? I mean, I already told you about one, me going through not obeying what the guard said. Now, I honestly didn't, didn't see the guard, but that's no excuse. That's no excuse, man. You, you know, if you can't see the guard, don't drive, huh? You know, I mean, really. That's uh, gets uh, pretty, uh, pretty serious. But, um, but God has a plan, and His plan is to get the good news of Jesus Christ to all the peoples around the world. And, uh, and, and how does He do this? How does God do it? It's by faith. It's by faith. Let me just read another verse um, from the Old Testament. Just a few chapters later, Genesis 15, verse 6, Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. We, we have a doctrine, we have a teaching <coughs> in the Christian church about how we're, we're saved. It's, we're saved by faith. It's not our good works, huh? Is that right? Not our good works, but it's by faith. But not only are we saved by faith, we, we we do God's work by faith. And, and do you know how God does it? God will speak to each one of us here, every one of us. God will speak to us and say, I want you to believe me for something significant. Do you want your life to be significant? Amen. Yeah, amen. That's why we're here. I want to make a difference for God. <clears throat> how can I do it? It's by faith. The Apostle Paul, here's another verse for you. Romans 1.17. Does anybody know Romans 1.17? One of my favorite verses. Romans 1.17. The just will live by faith. That means you're saved by faith, but not only saved by faith, you do God's work by faith. God will give you a vision, every one of us. God gives us a vision for something significant. Something that's bigger than we are. Something that you could never do by yourself. But God will do it through you. That's, that's what it means to live by faith.